How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. Another collab review. Not a collab review where I'm doing it with somebody else, but a beer that is collaboration beer. Another Other Hat beer, courtesy of our buddy, Keith. Thank you very much, Keith. And that is Other Hat Brewings in Industrial Arts. It's their Nummy Nug Nug. It's the uh, Nummy Nug Nug Imperial India Pale Ale, 8.3% alcohol by volume. Um, like I said, thank you very much, Keith, for dropping this off. The uh, gentleman that kicked off the Mystery Beer Series has the other half beers on lock, so I appreciate it very much. Um, Industrial Arts, never had anything from them before, so super excited to give it a whirl. It is a collaboration, so who knows. Um, other half had quite a few of them as of late, and they've been warming up to them um, because they've just been doing me a little bit better than they have in the past, so I don't know if I'm warming up to them or they're warming up to me or that's retarded. Anyway, uh, it is, let's see, for you Nazis out there, it's about two and a half weeks old. Okay, you know, whatever. Now, I shouldn't say that, because I have said that other happy years tend to fall off. I assume they fall off a little bit quicker um, than other beers, because people tell me they're good when they're fresh, but I've only had a bunch of them that were about a month old, but the ones that I've had fresh are a little bit better, so maybe I'm just, you know, ignoring the facts. Anyway, enough of that bullshit. As far as what it says in a candle, we're basically going to repeat everything. Other half, Industrial Arts, Nummy Nug Nug, Imperial IPA, 8.3% alcohol by volume, and that be that. Label-wise, it's cool. It reminds me of a kind of 80s video game or a um, kind of like a Windows screensaver where it kind of bounces around and shit like that, but yeah, I dig it. So, Industrial Arts, I don't even know where they're from. I've heard of them, um, but, yeah. I should know. But I try not to pay attention to stuff on purpose, so I go into everything blind. As blind as can be, obviously. This is implied, but, yeah. Anyway, give that a nice little tro in the glass there. Um, finger in half, infinite cream. It's like small fucking peaches from here. Um, yeah, like I said, finger in half. Infinite creamy, super compact bubbles, and it has that nice kind of, um, if you mixed, like, a grapefruit juice with a little bit of, like, tropical fruit juice kind of thing going on, and the uber haziness, so, turbid to be, and, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a nose on her. Well, I thought it was going to be a bit more impactful on the nose, this huge waft of peaches after cracking the can open, but throwing my nose in there, I'm saying throwing a lot, I don't know why. It's not as impactful. It's still there. It's all about the sweet fruit juice in here. We're leaning tropical. We're leaning stone fruitiness. Not really much citrus. Maybe a little bit of pineapple. But yeah, it's tropical fruit all the way. A um, little kiwi, star fruitiness. And then you're talking about having a little bit of, you know, a little bit hefty portion of kind of stone fruitiness. But it, like I said, from the distance that I got that kind of nose from, when I first cracked it open, I thought it was going to be a bit more. Yeah, but sweet, hoppy goodness with the stiff maltiness to kind of prop that sucker up there and make it nice and sweet. Hopefully there's a hefty bound of bitterness in there. Counterbalance all that sweetness. Usually is. We're going to find out. So it looks good. It smells good. Cheers. Wow. It's super soft. Like really soft. This is danger beer. It's kind of weird. There's a fruity sweetness there, but it's very um, semi-ripe and fruitiness to where you're getting pretty much what I said. You're getting kind of tropical fruits and stone fruitiness in general, but you have this nice bitterness on the other end that counterbalances it perfectly. Both of them are very, I don't want to say muted, just very rounded and very soft. Everything about this beer is soft. Mouth feels soft. The hot presence is soft. The sweetness is soft. Everything about this is very pillowy, soft. Very silky, very pillowy. And I think that's what is it, how it's meant to be. I don't think it's a matter of being two and a half weeks old or whatever. I think it's supposed to be this gentle. And that's really fucking cool. Yeah, very soft hand on this beer. Mm. Yeah. The bitterness and the sweetness are perfectly balanced. Like I said, that mouthfeel, and the dense, not the densest thing in the world, but at the same time, nice. Just everything. I keep using the word soft, ad nauseum, but it fucking is the perfect definition for this beer. It's a, it, like when I like 
a rounded, bigger beer, whether it be a barley wine or a Belgian or something like that, that heftier beer that's been sat around for time and aged, just kind of rounded the edges on it. It's kind of like that version of a kind of New England style IPA. So yeah, and it's really, I mean, it's not, you know, the fruitiness, like I said, it's there, but it's, it's it, I, I'm not picking out striking points of it. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's a kind of kiwi-ish little thing for me. There's a, there's a, a bit of like peachiness in there, but it's, it's very soft, so it's hard to kind of pull out a definitive kind of flavor. Mouthfeel, silky, smooth, and just super gentle. It drinks nowhere close to 8.3%. Yeah. Nice uh, little... Uh, hmm. Nice little change of pacer. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let's talk about it. Is it one of the better... They're calling it an Imperial India Pale Ale. You know, double IPA. So one of the better ones I had is late. No, um, just not for me it isn't, but it's definitely close to being that on the outside looking in. Is it a really pleasurable, interesting beer? Yes, and that's the thing. It's it's like I've had better ones. This, but it's just, it's just, it's too soft for me to be... Smitten by it. Let's put it that way. Um, value availability. I don't know. Other half. Get there at two a.m. Stay overnight and buy it. Um, I don't know. Twenty bucks for a four pack. Give or take. Who knows? And uh, just say if you like what we like this. If you like pillows. If you like down feathers. If you like, um, you know, soft squishiness. If you like the marshmallow man. If you like, uh, yeah, all that kind of stuff, man. If you like, uh, like, uh, what are those kind of. Um, felt kind of blankety things if you like softness because that's what this beer is this beer is super soft super gentle just uh, a pleasure to drink and absolutely without a doubt um, one of the easiest speciest beers I've had in a while especially that's ABV so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed the review uh, if you did didn't anywhere in between please leave a comment in the comments section below like subscribe and all that fun fun stuff um, Facebook Twitter Instagram untapped massive beers in all four of those places if you want to check me out anywhere else then yeah Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice, super soft Imperial IPA right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.